Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video I'm going to show you the new things that we've added to Camera Bag 2025.1. Um, let's dive right in. The first is that we've added a new mask um, in the masks section, and this one that we've added is the color mask. And this lets you basically choose just a color by um, either adjusting the values in this color field or clicking on the um, water or the color dropper thing um, and then it will select that color in the image with a tolerance and a fall off. And let me set the preview color to green here so that we can more easily see what's going on. So there I've selected the sky here I'll select uh, sort of a medium red color and then as I adjust the fall off you can see it's sort of fading to include more of the red. If I put the fall off to zero and then adjust the tolerance It'll basically, if I zoom in here, it'll have a, a hard edge where it's selecting. So the tolerance is that sort of hard cutoff, and then the fall off sort of fades it in. So with something like this, um, this photo right here, we can do that color mask and then select any of our adjustments, like let's do exposure. And now when I adjust the exposure, since it's linked up with this mask, it will only adjust the exposure of the pixels selected by that mask. So I'm uh, adjusting the exposure there. We could do something like change the coloring, um, make it like more purple or green or whatever. Um, but it's handy for things like this if you want to say adjust the uh, exposure of the eaves of this pagoda type building separate from the sky, then I could put another um, color mask here and choose the sky. And it seems to have a decent fall off and tolerance value already. But then I can select the exposure. And then with this slider, I'm adjusting the exposure of the sky. And with this one, I'm adjusting the exposure of the red eaves on that building. So very handy. and. You know, you could do this before we had um, this HSV mask, which let you do basically a similar thing, but you had to choose, you had to use these curve controls, which is nice when you need to get very specific, but this uh, more simplified color mask just lets you sort of, you know, click and choose. So very handy for many things. Um, and just a note, we also, with, with the... Um, the utility function for chroma key we've updated the algorithms in that to match uh, the the selection algorithms of that color mask so um, this one just erases the pixels of the color chosen but we gave it that same uh, tolerance and fall off algorithm that works better than the one that we had previously so um, you can do green screening stuff with improved accuracy in this version. Next, let's go to um, something that we've added to hue shift. So we had this before, and previously the hue shift adjustment looked like this, where you could do curve based adjustments and adjust the hue. And if I wanted to, you know, adjust the hue of the sky color, I would move it in the blue hue region. And this is great for, for advanced control. But um, often what you want is actually something just much simpler, um, just where you adjust the hue left or right um, all at the same time, and you're just worrying about a slider. And often this is good for things like skin tones. So if I open um, another photo here, like uh, this one with some skin tones in it, and I do hue shift, and maybe your skin tones are a little too purple or a little too yellow, and um, this can just be a much easier way to adjust that. So anyway, it's the, the same hue shift adjustment. It just opens in simple mode and you can switch it to advanced mode uh, if you want to do it more with the, the advanced curve based editor. Next, let's look at the um, split tone adjustment, which we've also improved. And um, when you would click on split tone before, it would look exactly like this. But what we've changed is we've added this color method adjustment. So now, in addition to tint, the tint method that we had before, you can also use colorize, 
color filter, dye, color balance, screen, multiply, and hue. And each of these behaves a little bit differently, like hue, for example, just purely adjusts the hue without changing anything else. And it, as with the other split tone adjustments, it will smoothly transition between what you have for the dark color and apply that to the shadows of the image, starting at black, and that will transition to applying, <clears throat> excuse me, this color, the, the light color, as it goes to the brighter parts of the image up to white pixels. So um, you can just play around with this, but you can get some really neat, um, really neat effects just living just within this adjustment. Um, so I highly recommend you try try all of these things. You can get some cool night effects with like the color filter method. Um, you can get lots of lots of neat things. So go play around with that one. Um, and the final thing, actually, let me just open back up that split tone adjustment. Or let's get the default one. Um, one thing that we've added that's just across, basically, an improvement across all of our adjustments that include these color choosers is that now you can right click on them to copy a color. And then on any other adjustment that you want to match that color, you can then right click on the particular color chooser and choose paste color. So when I do it in split tone, now I've made the dark color and the light color exactly the same, uh, which for tint will just make the whole image look the same. But now I can adjust this one darker and this one lighter, and I know that the hue on these is exactly the same because I copied and pasted it from the dark color to the light color. So um, this can be handy just for yeah when you want to match certain adjustments, their color exactly. You don't have to type before you could just look at these values and then type them into another one, but uh, much easier to right click and copy and paste. Anyway, um, those are the, the main new features that we've added and just a few bug fixes and other tune ups. Let us know what you think. Um, leave comments in the video here on YouTube or uh, send us an email or contact, contact us on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks.